talk about is the uh, JP Sig Pick. This is, like I mentioned before, a slightly larger than a regular Jazz 3. A little bit bigger. Um, it's kind of like a. I don't have any of the, the Jazz 3 XLs around, but um, I think it's probably pretty similar, but with the kind of, I guess, smooth picking surface. <laughs> I mean, all the clams aside, uh, this is actually a really, really good pick for jazz, in my opinion. Um, I started out with the, the regular Jazz 3, and um, I moved over to the V-Pick Dimension Junior, and now I'm kind of at this point, which is great because this is a lot cheaper. But, um, I don't know, it just seems like I can, with the, the Dimension Junior, um, it was so thick that I couldn't get the speed I wanted, and this, these kind of guitar is really the, kind of the fast picking, it's harder to get that kind of speed for a reason, but um, this pick, so it's, it's a lot easier to pick with this pick, fast, um, you can get chords really easily, um, it's just a great pick all around. Classic Red Jazz Tree a lot. That's what I use for my regular playing. Um, and it, it's easy to play as well. Um, but the uh, Petrucci Jazz Tree, it has that extra little bit of leverage, I guess you could kind of call it. Well, I guess the best way to put it is uh, I'm gripping farther back on the Petrucci, just by nature of the thickness of the pick, whereas on the Ridge Jazz 3, I tend to, my finger is closer, so I have a little bit less leverage, I have a little bit more control uh, with the, the Red Jazz 3. Um, but um, I just tend to prefer, for whatever reason, the I tend to use a little bit less energy with the Petrucci. Um, so this pick surprised me quite a bit. So we talked about the Red Jazz 3. It's just a classic. I love this pick. I use this for all my heavier stuff. Um, the black one, it's a slightly different material. Um, and it wears a little bit differently. So that's, you know. But it's pretty close to the red. Um, the red is a little smoother, a little glossier, which I prefer actually. For whatever reason. Um, whereas the black is... A little bit rougher of a surface, not much, just you know. Uh, the Max Grip Jazz 3 uh, is it's a great pick, but I find that it's almost too grippy, you know. So, what happens is, it's it, with the, the regular Jazz 3, um, I kind of like to have that little bit of s slippiness so that I can get comfortable with my fingers. With the Max Grip, I find that it's hard for me to kind of, once, you know, it's just kind of like so rough, I, I almost move the pick around because it's stuck to my finger in order to get the right grip on it, if that makes sense. Um, great pick. To, if you have a problem slipping, this is your pick though, so it's not to be discounted. Um, the Eric Johnson Jazz 3 is another kind of different material. Um, you know, there, these are there's very small differences in these, and I'm sorry I'm talking about jazz trees, but I told you guys I picked my five favorite, and these are my five favorite. Um, the Eric Johnson jazz tree, um, I think it might be also slightly different material. It's not as glossy. It's kind of like in between the black jazz tree and the normal, the standard red jazz tree. It's where I'd call the uh, the black more of kind of like a rougher surface. The Eric Johnson is just kind of like a matte finish. So, I f can pretty much interchangeably use the Eric Johnson and the Standard Red pretty fluently. Um, same thing with the uh, Dunlop, the, the Ultex Jazz 3. I find that this 
is a little bit stiffer than the regular Jazz 3. I can flex the normal Jazz 3's, whereas the Ultex is a lot stiffer. It does, wears a lot, a lot slower. Um, interchangeably use this and the other Jazz 3's, the Eric Johnson, the other red ones. Um, it's a little bit different. Just it's, it's just a little bit smoother, I guess you could say. Now tone-wise, I find these are all to be very similar. I mean, we're, we're really kind of getting crazy if we're, you know, we're talking about different Jazz 3 tone. Tone differences, I think they're pretty much the same. It's more about how they connect with you on the guitar and in your hand. Um, and kind of as a fun difference, um, the Ultex Jazz 3 2, which is 2.0, which is basically, I believe, the same material as the Ultex Jazz 3, which would make sense, and then um, we have instead, kind of like, like I said, kind of like an arch to it, it almost is like an arch top on a guitar, um, so let's see. <laughs> favorites, um, I know I had a whole bunch that I was choosing between, but um, my new favorite pick, especially for jazz kind of stuff, is the Petrucci signature, which is like a big jazz free. Um, my, my, of course, my standard, my, my all-time favorite has got to be the classic red jazz free, which I like, it's a little bit glossier than the other ones. Um, the old text is great. It doesn't wear as fast as the other Jazz 3's, and it has a slight stiffer feel. Eric Johnson Jazz 3, which is, I mean, we're kind of splitting hairs, but it's, uh, I think what I understand, it's kind of made like the older, the old Jazz 3's. I guess there was a manufacturing difference at some point. That's great. So I guess that's, what is that, that's four right there. And then I'm actually digging this Altex 2. Just the shape is different. It's kind of a new curiosity. Um, so I'll be playing this a lot more. Just for whatever reason, I, I, I go and try something new, and the Jazz 3s are just what I come back to. So um, hope this helps you guys. Thanks for watching, um, and uh, I'll see you very soon.